And we are back with more Sam and Max, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, I can't look at the luggage. I can't look at a lot of luggage. Excuse me, mister. No! No more toilet breaks till the job's done right, understand? We, um, we're not your underlings. Huh? I got no statements for the press. How about a cookie, Kringle? Go good. away! Beard of snowy white, nose like a cherry. Haven't we met somewhere before? In the Fat previous chance. game, which is the future. I don't make a habit of frequenting the greasy dives in this low-rent neighborhood. But no doubt you've seen my mug splashed across the front page of your morning paper. Nicholas St. Kringle to spearhead Bobbles for Brat's charity drive. Nicholas St. Kringle named Philanthropist of the Millennium. Nicholas St. Kringle photographed in Love Nest with team of Swedish figure skaters. <laughs> Whoa, go him. That's pretty impressive for his age. That's pretty darn impressive indeed. I note with curiosity that your assistants are... Short. I'm in the middle of transitioning to an elf-based labor force. Uh, trying to help out, you know. <laughs> Give a disadvantaged ethnic group a leg up in the new world. Oh, how He's sweet. Generous. Hell, who am I fooling? They're cheap as dirt. Toss them a few chestnuts and a figgy pudding, and they'll crawl a mile on broken glass. <laughs> you're not a nice man. I don't think you're a very the nice man at all. How's the elf labor force working out for you so far? There's an old saying amongst us capitalists. You get what you pay for. I don't get it. What's an important looking guy like you doing in a two-bit amusement palace like this? What's to get? This paperweight character says he's made some kind of big discovery of a toy-related nature. I make it my business to keep up with all new developments on the toy front, okay? Wouldn't this be an old development on the toy front? Why aren't you up there attempting the challenge of the Sphinx? My underlings are handling that for me. I see. Scared to try it yourself, huh? Scared? Nicholas St. Kringle is scared of nothing. Nothing! Bah! Humbug. Aha! Foot snake, squiggle, oh, squiggle, bird. Here. Let me help you up. Keep your pincers off me, you drooling little cretin! If you had the teaspoon of brains necessary to do your job, I wouldn't be down here! You know, if you had the teaspoon of brains necessary to do it, you wouldn't be there. Okay, what do we got here? Inventory list, profits, losses, naughty, nice. Hmm, employee addresses. Looks like Kringle's employees all live in that elf ghetto. You mean Little Arctic Circle? There's an elf ghetto? Huh. <laughs> I guess he's done throwing a tantrum. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> oh, jeez. These are frequent hiccups. But they seem to have stopped. It's jinx. Yeah, that hippo head is fascinating, but... Uh-oh. I didn't mean to click on it. I the wanted Sphinx to has awakened. You are indeed a seeker of substance. We like to say he's pleasantly clump. Place your offering in the divine nostrils. Dude, you're a seeker of substance? You can get arrested for trying to seek substances. Let's do this later. Gotta let the batteries recharge. Woo! What in God's name are you doing with that can of nuts? Well, well, that was a disconcerting twist on an old joke. Power came from me, Samoth. My body's all tingly. I've never felt anything like it. You may notice a lot of bodily changes over the next few years, little buddy. <laughs> it's all part of... Do it again! Hey! Huh, 
So the mole Where did they run the off to? Well, I can't figure. Hey, why is the can of nuts still on the thing? Think this substitute can of nuts will work the same as the original? I have my doubts, Maximus. <laughs> the magic of the ancients. It's a surefire laugh getter, anyway. Yeah, but it didn't make me all tingly like the one the elf swiped. We've got to get that can back, Samoth. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, we'll worry about the hippo head later. I think that theft is more pressing. Ma is a more pressing matter. Kringle's a jerk. He's no help. Ooh, newspapery. Ooh, funny papers. Yeah, but they're all in hieroglyphics. Who the heck wants funny papers in hieroglyphics? Where are we going, Samoth? Little Arctic Circle. Darn right. We're going there. Yay! Filthy elves! You pollute the sacred relics of the mole people! Oh, lay off! Go on, burrow back where you came from! Yeah! Go chew on an earthworm, you friggin' undergrounder! Ha! I curse you! Ooh, I'm quaking in me little elven booties! Why can't we all get along, Samoth? Because most of us are a little buddy. Yes. Yes, we are. The lot of us. Pigeon! Oh, I can't examine the pigeon! <laughs> I wanted to look at the pigeon any pigeon thing guy. Hey, Slush! What's the matter? You get off at the wrong stop or something? Swells like you generally steer clear of Little Arctic Circle. We represent Toymaker's Local 614. Stand up and be counted! No contract, no work! Calm down! We don't need that kind of trouble. We got a cushy setup here. Five hours off every other month. Oh, and we just last week talked the boss into taking the steel tip off the whip. Don't louse it up for us. Yeah, you got it good, I guess. Who's the dame you were fighting with when we walked in? Crazy old bat. Some cock and bull story about how the moles is the eternal guardians of the tomb of some joik. Sammy Mack. Yeah, and get this. Our can of nuts is really some kind of mumbo-jumbo voodoo drum in her creepy religion. And when I don't hand it over to her, she zaps me with the full-on gypsy coist routine. Coist? break. Ah, banana oil. That stuff might kill him in Moldavia or wherever, but it don't play in the U.S. of A. So, the curse doesn't worry you at all? Not a little bit? Nah, us elves don't believe in that magical junk. We're here to gape at the depressing squalor of your miserable ghetto and congratulate ourselves on our comparative good breeding. Oh, knock yourselves out. What in God's name are you doing with that can of nuts? Wiken, what does it look like? Special job for Mr. K himself. He's in the toy and novelty racket, see? We swiped, uh, that is, we managed to acquire this nifty little gizmo here. Sports a couple of interesting features. We cracked the code and Boss Kringle makes a fortune selling it over the holidays. Which means big bonuses for the likes of us. Yeah, right. Give it up. You'll never manage to reverse engineer that can of nuts. It only works in the presence of Max's ineffable aura. Right. I hate to say it, but you guys' auras are just plain effable. <laughs> ah, Guan, you chumps got no more claim on this can than we do. Only we got it, and we're keeping it, see? We'll see about that, you bonsai bandits! No, Maximus. Bonsai bandits? I think bandits. we should go. Huh? They're only gonna kill themselves trying to figure it out. Meanwhile, we've got the toy idea that's gonna set the industry on its ear. See you in the funny papers, suckers! Wait a minute! The boss will pay big if we bring him a great new concept. And it's true, we ain't getting nowhere with this can of nuts. Tell you what, Polly. We might be willing to work out a tray. Give us your toy idea. If it's really a winner like you say, we'll let you have the can. No fuss. Ooh, what a wonderful offer. I think I'll take you up on it. Ooh, what'll we invent? Point and click adventure games. <laughs> the music died, I love it. You gotta be kidding. 
It's a coiled up spring you push downstairs. Hey, I like pushing things downstairs. Nah, dumb idea. My first sausage stuffer. A fun way to dispose of leftover lunch meat, household vermin, and scabs. Oh, please, you're making me heave here. Oh. My little pony keg. My little pony <laughs> Hmm, kids love beer. Yeah, but Mr. K don't. My little pony keg. It's an inflatable dartboard. Uh-uh, tried that last year. It was a bust. I can imagine. It's a board game. A top hat, an iron, and a little dog go around building hotels, and you're all trying to make each other go bankrupt. Interesting idea, but I don't think it'll fly. The you're kids ain't right. into capitalism nowadays. I got nothing. As a matter of fact... You got nothing. We got something, all right, but we're holding out on you. Gotta clear it with the boss first. You do that. Come back when you're ready to talk toys. And if your idea's as hot as you say, we'll kick the can over to you. Kick the can? <laughs> Good one, slushy. Shut up. Those round-headed rats! They can't do this to me! I, I mean him! Ah, that can of nuts belongs to Maximus by right of psychic possession! I know, but unless our great-grandpas can dig up a great toy idea, I'm afraid they're out of luck. Huh. Nice of them to provide random narration, huh? Door we can go in. It is! Hurrah! Let's go in. A cellar apartment. In the hobble, in hobbles like these, you know you'll find the huddled masses, and then I didn't read it in time. Maybe we came at a bad time. Only got three minutes left. Whee! Excuse me, sir or madam. I can see you're busy muttering to yourself, but... Why you break my concentration on curse? You in cahoots with disgusting elves, no? No. Wait! Mishka Lisa do fizzle Einzefeld. It is you, nut boy. Nut boy. Smith, she just called me nut boy. The one with great power from body to squeeze himself down to kind of nut, yeah? Oh, ja, ja, it's me, Nut Boy. Nut Boy. Oh, <laughs> rotten, stinking, disgusting elves. So long I am searching after sacred cannon nuts stolen from tomb of someone muck. To find it in a theater, to see it making with glorious magic, Nut Boy squished down with fat doggy friend. Huh? Hey. And then to lose it to grubby little sacrilegious maggot elves. Oh, for the strength of ten moles to crush them to paste. Dang. She's severe. Crushing elves to paste. Sounds fun. Whee! And invigorating. You, not a boy and fat doggy friend. You will come to aid of pitiful mole woman. You will take Kanonot back from nasty elves and bring it to mole woman. Sure. The you first part, anyway. Call yourself mole and woman? perhaps there is something mole woman can do for you. Why, yes, I do believe there is. You said something about the tomb of Samun Mac. Ah, oh, how I miss it. The happy pitter-patter of little scarabs. The smiling faces of the sarcophagi. Guarding the tomb has been out of family business for many generations. Why did you leave the old country? Oh, tomb guarding business, not what it used to be. Nowadays, no decent tomb raiders to impale. So, family sent me here. I make it big in America, I send for them. Interesting. <coughs> Excuse me, but we're about out of time. I'll see you next time with more Salmon Max.